Okay, guys, I have got an awesome bath bomb for you today. It's so awesome that, quite honestly, I am not sure how to demo it. Um, okay, so this one is called Feed Me Seymour, and it's obviously inspired by The Little Shop of Horrors. And it's from the company called Sweet Shop of Horrors. And um, they are new to me, and as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they are a new company altogether. And um, this bath bomb is scented in Fruit Loops, and the top of it, the little chompers, is actually a bubble bar. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I'm just not going to be able to chop that up. So I think what I'm going to do is take it out of the little pot, the bubble bar part, um, I'm sorry, the bath bomb part, and um, just kind of put that in on its own, and then maybe we'll put the bubble bar in the strainer and do that separately but this it just smells amazing it's just so intricate and awesome looking and just it looks absolutely like the real thing if you've seen that movie so um I don't know I just I want to keep it and look at it it's just so cool but um you know it's meant to be a bath bomb so we're gonna demo it and so she put these up on her site and what happened was is I saw on Instagram that the Mad Bombers reposted the picture and she sold out just, I don't know in how many minutes, but I know that I bought one and she sold out very shortly that day. So I know she's made some more and she's putting those on her site very soon. But anyway, so you're going to see it here first and I'm really, really excited. So let's go ahead and get it in the water and see what it does. Okay, so this is the bath bomb part and this is what was hidden under the bubble bar. It looks pretty cool. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in like this um, and we're gonna see what happens. Now, this could be a hot mess. I'm hoping that it's pretty cool. You know, I probably should have a tripod doing it, set up doing it like this, but I don't know. I'm just gonna try and hold it and you know, I might let it go. It might just sink to the bottom. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it could look pretty cool, so I don't know. We're just gonna see what happens. I'm really excited. I don't really know what I'm doing. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that looks really cool. Well, let's dunk it again. I don't want it to come out of my hand. Oh, it smells really good too. This smells really, really good. Really nice and strong. Nice, strong Fruit Loop scent. Yeah, this pot's getting a little slippery. <laughs> so I hope I can hang on to it. If not, I'll just let, let it pop up and it's just gonna go do what it wants. This is so freaking cool. I just love doing something different. And this is this is extremely innovative. I wish I could back up, but I can't since I'm holding it. So, sorry about that. I think this looks amazing. Honestly, I can't even see through my viewfinder right now. I'm just really, really hoping this is in frame. Wow, oh my goodness.
I'm trying so hard to hold on to this pot and hold on to my phone over my tub. But I am doing it. So far, so good. Get down a little closer. Okay. This is so, so cool, you guys. Oh my gosh. And you know, I never thought that it would have a different color in the bottom, but it does. I love these colors too with the scent, the Fruit Loops scent. I think these are awesome colors. It kind of looks like, it kind of reminds me of the cereal, the colors on top of the water. I think it's so cool how it's just shooting out of there so fast like that. Okay, I think it's about to just pop out. So I'm gonna just let it go. Yep. All right. How awesome was that? Oh, that was so much fun. Now that is a really, really pretty um, watermelon color. Okay, let's back up and look at the whole thing. Yeah, shaking. Wow. Ah, and we still have the bubble bar part to go. Awesome. Okay, so I have little Audrey too. I think that's that's the name of this plants head in here of um, the Feed Me Seymour bath bomb. Um, I pick it up, but I only have two hands and show you a little bit more of it. Um, so I'm gonna turn the water on and it's gonna be pretty loud. So um, go ahead and prepare yourselves for that. And um, we're gonna see how many bubbles this makes. And I guarantee you, I'm gonna be overwhelmed with bubbles when this is over. So um, let me turn the water on and we'll get started with this. So hang on one second. Split it in half easily and use it for two baths. And I have my water on pretty much just hot. 
said. I thought that might help help move it along a little faster so you don't have to sit here and watch me all day. I'm making the popcorn on the stove. Jippy Pop, I guess, the name of it. Okay, almost gone. Just a few little pieces left. And if you agitate it a little bit, you're going to get a little more than that, obviously. And that bubble bar was huge. Let's go ahead and cut on my jets and see what we've got after that. And oh, I guarantee you, it's going to be a lot. Let's check out the watercolor first. I always forget this. Okay, so it is a really, really, really pretty. I stand by the, um, the watermelon color. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay. Ooh, they look really fluffy too. Now I can't wait to get in this bath. I am really, really excited about taking this one. If you, you, you guys can get your hands on this bath bomb, th this bath is just it's really going to be a treat. I mean, this is something special. This is not your everyday bath bomb. <laughs> this is a special occasion bath bomb for sure. Okay, so I think you get the point that probably hasn't even been a minute. This is going to make a whole lot of um, just nice, fluffy, they look look pretty creamy bubbles. Um, so I guess I'll just see you back here after my bath. I'm so excited, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, thanks for sticking around so long so far. So I guess I'll just give you my final thoughts in a few minutes. See you in a minute. Okay, so I forgot to reach my arm in and show you guys how deep the bubbles were and the consistency. So this is the wall of bubbles. I had to move in just to get in the tub and sit down. So um, yeah, they, um, they're pretty significant. They, um, they're pretty awesome. So I um, just thought I'd just show you guys that real quick. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a bit of fun here. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you when I get out. Okay guys, so this is what we have left in the tub. There is some pink residue in the bottom, but I can already tell that that is going to wash right down. And we've got a lot of bubbles because this had so many bubbles in it. The water was very moisturizing and I have to tell you that this was, it could very well be, probably is the coolest bath bomb that I have ever done. And let me show you this little skull. This is the little skull that was on top of the little flower pot. Okay, so um, I think that this is just what we are, I think this is the bar. This is like the bar that, that we're gonna see a lot of bombers start putting out things like this. There were just so many bells and whistles, the flower pot, the leaves, the little skull, the bubble bar on top. It was just, it was carved and molded. I think we're gonna see little soaps and just props and this was a new way to set off a bomb. Lush came out with their jelly bombs today, and I had someone write on my Instagram page that this was the next step in the world of ballistics, and I just, I have to disagree with that. I think that we've seen jelly for a while, whether it be, you know, 
for in the shower or in the bathtub. And I just think that these individual bombers and their independent companies, they are just going to blow that kind of thing out of the water. I really do. I think that what I just did, what I just demoed, is just head and shoulders above that kind of thing. So I'm just, I'm so excited for this company. I'm excited to do the rest of these demos and um, just congratulations to her. I just, I thought that this was absolutely amazing. Anyway, so um, I will have all of her links listed down below and I just really appreciate you guys watching. I want to know if you enjoyed this demo as much as I enjoyed doing it. So um, yeah, let me know down in the comments and let me know if you were able to grab one of these bath bombs because I know they're just a really, really hot item. Okay, well thanks for joining me today and I will see you guys for the next demo. Bye-bye.